Alright, so this is my um, my bug out bag and things I've got in it. I won't talk too long about this particular bag. There's a lot of reviews. It's the Hazard 4 Plan B. A lot of reviews on YouTube, so talk a lot about that. Um, things I've got in there. Um, you got a map for the state of Arkansas. Hold it down a little, yeah, there. I'm actually going to get one that's actually laminated. So it would be a lot better to uh, to carry in a bug out situation than something made of paper because it gets wet and be destroyed. I've also got some, uh, some heirloom seeds, organic, non-GMO. Non uh, I think these would be worth gold in a bad situation. They got all kinds of stuff, squash, tomato, everything in there. Um, I had the Life Straw water filter, but I changed, I st I've still got it actually, but I changed over to the uh, Renovo Trio. The difference in this one is, this one's supposed to filter out pesticides like they get into creeks from farms and stuff like that so I highly recommend that one and then I've got some Aquamira water purifier tablets in case it's raining or you just don't feel like boiling water or anything like that you have some tablets and then I've got a 2400 calorie uh, emergency food ration bar heard these things are terrible but okay. Um, I got some shoelaces, uh, a step that actually brought to my attention, you could use paracord, think about that, but I got these as well. Um, this is my knife that I chose, it's a, uh, K-Bar Becker 2, very, very thick, I mean, you're not, it's got a, pretty sure it's got a lifetime warranty on it, I mean, it's not not going to break at all. I've got an emergency fishing kit, it's a tube and it's got black duct tape wrapped around it, fishing lines, and bobbers and sinkers, some hooks inside there. Um, right here I've got some wet ones. I mean these aren't going to last a long time but your first month or two out there be nice to have something nice to go to the bathroom with. We'll just put it like that. Um, I've got a Stanley cooking kit right here. Yeah, boil your water in there and then you got a little cup. You can put stuff down lower. Mm -hmm. Below your waist. Um, these are, uh, 5.56, five, five, uh, armor, the armor piercing rounds, actually. I've got two boxes of 30. I've got two full clips there for my 5.56, five, five, I'll get to that in a minute. And I've got a 100 round box of hollow point 9 millimeter. My two pistols over here. Um, I've got this, uh, stainless steel... Stanley can canteen. You can buy them at Walmart for like 18, 19 bucks for purifying water. Uh, it does come with a strap and two pieces of metal that I actually pulled off because they would make they were making a whole lot of racket. So, um, and here I've got the Blizzard survival bag. There's a lot of great reviews on this thing. Uh, 100% waterproof. I think it even has a hood that comes up over. I mean, you can use it as shelter, whatever. And I've just got a cheap little flashlight. I've got a better one in my vehicle, but this is just a basic one. And I, right here, I have a uh, just a mask, hunting mask that you wanted to hide your identity for some reason or another. You can do that. Um, got some carabiners for attaching stuff to my backpack. And here, I have a 
Orion signal red signal flare. You can buy like I don't know, a couple of these or for like three or four dollars at Walmart in the camping section, and they are extremely bright. So you could actually signal somebody or very easily blind somebody with that. Need be um, got some wet fire starting fire and damp conditions. I got these pieces of rubber my mom gave me, and they actually are great if you can get them going. They burn really, really hot. And some UCO stormproof matches, waterproof matches. Um, and I've got another container of UCO stormproof matches. These are actually the much larger ones. They burn for 25 seconds. You can actually drop these things in a bucket of water and they will still burn under the water, fully submerged. They're pretty cool. Um, got a three way opener. Can opener, kind of handy. We got a schmog. A lot of uses for that. Um, got some mass. You know, you're around somebody that's sick or think they might be sick or something. You probably want to wear one of them. Wouldn't be any. Uh, probably couldn't go to the doctor or anything. So. And this is my uh, first aid kit. It's not, I don't have a whole lot of band-aids or stuff like that in here. It's mainly for serious uh, wounds, whatnot. Uh, this is an instant cold pack. You know, your knees, your shoulders from carrying your backpack for a long day, come in handy. This is actually a disposable skin stapler that I got off of Amazon. Um, they, it comes pre-packaged. They're all sterile, so you wouldn't have to worry about like you were going to sew your, you know, sew yourself up. If you had a big gash or something, it'd be better to have this. You don't have to worry about sterilizing the needle or the thread or anything like that. Um, also carry uh, tea tree oil. It's got a lot of antiseptic and uh properties to it. It's good stuff. Of course, I have a deal of Neosporin, uh, some first degree burn cream, uh, and this is a Celox uh, applicator, Celox granules. If somebody was to get shot, you would take this thing and put it in there and inject them with the Celox granules, and it's supposed to uh, cause clotting of the blood there so someone didn't bleed to death. Of course, this is an Israeli bandage. Okay, go. Um, sorry about the glitch on that. My mom's running the camera. <laughs> so, uh, this is an Israeli bandage. Everybody knows what that is. Now, I also got some latex gloves. You don't want to just put your hands all over anybody. Got a pair of surgical scissors. Put shirts off people. And I've got some of this, uh, I haven't seen any reviews on it yet, but it's just little pads, I guess. Blood Stop by Curad. Pretty cool. That's all. That's, uh, and then over here, I've just got some uh, surgical dressing. So, that's all as far as what I've got in my first day. Um, also, I also have a tourniquet. Uh, on my bag that I didn't show y'all, but everybody knows what that is. So now get to the knives. This is you my. You get the knife. Oh yeah, I already did that. Didn't I? This is a uh, this is a Cobra nine millimeter revolver. It's a double shot. Um, it's pretty neat. And over here for my primary handgun. I have a, a Glock 17 Gen 4. Highly recommend if you're going to go buy a pistol. I highly recommend Glock. I think they're some of the best manufacturers out there. Um, this is a uh, 556 five, made by KE Arms. Um, I've done a lot of uh, aftermarket stuff, so to speak, to it. I've 
put Daniel Defense here and here and here all this uh, furniture is Daniel Defense and let me show you something this is actually really cool um, on this particular gun the deal pops off right here and I've got three extra bullets in the bottom of the, uh, the pistol grip here I think you're out of ammo and actually you still have three more rounds in your grip so that's, that's pretty neat um, the optic I have on here is made by Bushnell I cannot remember the name of it but it's a T-Dot sight uh, one power gonna be gonna be real honest with y'all I would not recommend it it hasn't held zero very well but that's just my opinion so anyway this is what I have so far in my bow out deal um, feel free to comment and suggestions and things like that thanks